At exactly 3.45 on that Saturday afternoon in the last week of September, Marvin Unger was perhaps the only one among the 100,000 people at the track who felt no thrill at the running of the fifth race. He was totally disinterested in horse racing and held a lifelong contempt for gambling. Nevertheless, he had a $5 win bet on every horse in the fifth race. He knew, of course, that this rather unique system of betting would more than likely result in a loss, but he didn't care. For after all, he thought, what would the loss of 20 or $30 mean in comparison to the vast sum of money ultimately at stake? Follow of ginger ale, please. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Favorite broke band. Could be anybody's race. Could be. It's in the five dollar win, next to the five dollar place. Quite a crowd you got. Yeah. Passing the quarter pole, it is Lucky Arrow and Purple Shadow with stopwatch on the outside, the third. Not ahead of the stretch, it is Purple Shadow leading by a length. Lucky Arrow is second to find three quarters. Stopwatch moving up on the outside is third to buy a length and a quarter. Then comes Southern Star, main entrance, Stanley K, third row, and Love and Dilemma. It is Lucky Arrow between horses by a head, Purple Shadow by a head, and Stopwatch moving past on the outside. Second by a head, Lucky Arrow third by a length, and Southern Star finished fourth. Waiting for the race to become official, he began to feel as if he had as much effect on the final outcome of the operation as a single piece of a jumbled jigsaw puzzle has to its predetermined final design. Only the addition of the missing fragments of the puzzle would reveal whether the picture was as he guessed it would be. 